Nairobi, Kenya, and we're giving out Bibles to those that have just received them. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I ask you to touch every life that's standing before you now. Let the power of God come upon them. Forgive them. Set them free. Heal them. I break the curse of sin over your lives. I bind all the powers of darkness. I loose you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, as they surrender your life to you right now, come and touch them with your power. Fill them with your love. Fill it with your joy. Let the peace of God touch their hearts. Let every form of fear and despair be gone. Lord, heal the broken hearts. Set the captive free. Touch them with your great power. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your voices and begin to cry out to him. My God, we need you. My God, we need you. Yes, yes. Begin to cry out to him tonight. This pastor Daniel Sadaka in Kenya, uh, Kitale. God has done great things on this revival crusade here in Kitale. We have seen crowds gathered for the power of God. And many people, as the servant of God was ministering, many lives were touched. Several hundreds of people received Christ in their hearts. God bless you. We have seen great things. The Holy Spirit power, healing power, touching the lives of people. And we have seen great things in Jesus' name. God bless you so much. God exposes our sin. Sharia na magiza mungu inaonesha dhambi zetu. The word of God lays us bare before him. Neno la mungu inatueka kwa migu yake. Naked in our sin. Inatueka ugwazi kwa dhambi zetu. It is as a school teacher that instructs us. Inakaa kama mwalimu kwa shule amba natufuza. That if it was not for the grace of God, if it is not for the love and the mercy of God, then we are sinners. And if we die in our sin, we are condemned to hell. We are condemned, our sin condemns us to eternity in damnation. Now Jesus spoke on hell more than heaven. Because he warns us we must flee from hell. The scripture says consider both the loving kindness the graciousness and the severity of God. For it is a dreadful thing to fall, it is a dreadful thing to fall in the hands of Almighty God. For our God is a consuming fire. And God and sin do not mix. Mungo na dami Besides that, there's a lady that was brought in our meeting in the evening uh, crusade. She had the pains from her head to her feet. After prayer, she, she told me that she's completely healed. 
She was unable to sleep at night because of the pains in her body. But right now, since yesterday, she's completely healed and set free from sickness and pains in her life. Jesus bore on the cross. Yes, Jesus took upon him that burden. That, that we might be set free. What is your burden tonight? What is the burden that you carry? Is it a burden of sin? Is it a burden of sickness and disease? Is it a burden of heartache and sorrow and despair? Will you allow him to come and lift the burden that you're carrying? For he came to set the Hallelujah. 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 Tonight if you say yes, I want this God. Leo, come on a seminar we tidy who you Tonight I will choose to follow the true living God. Now Samuel Sikwa Leo, Namwa Kumfata Mungu wa Kweli, Namungu wa Peke. Tonight you say I want him to set me free. Nataka aniweke huru usikwa leo. I want to know this great love, this great power of God. Nataka ni chue his nguvu za mungu, na nguvu za mungu ni upendo. Huu ndi uwezu wa mungu. To know his great love. Kuchua upendo wake mku. To let his great joy and peace into your heart. Na kurusu mungu akumwagie mwayoni mwaku. God is a good God. Wana ni mungu mwema. He is good. Okay, put your hands together. Are you ready? God is so good. Mm -hmm. He is so good to me. God is so good. So good to me. Yes, he does. He lifts me up when I am down. Sets my feet on solid ground. Much blessed to host uh, Apostle Paul Fallon from Australia. It was so much a blessing to us in a mighty revival crusade in Mosbridge. We started meeting at the 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. at night. So many people turned over. We experienced the mighty glory of God from the ground. Uh, we saw a lady was sick. If she was feeling the pains upon her body, she was touched by the presence of the Holy Spirit and she was completely healed. We saw a drunk man completely when he came to the ground, when he left the field, was completely sober. The power of drunkenness left him, and he started jumping and glorifying the Lord. We thank God for sending his servant to us here in Mosbridge. We experienced the tremendous presence of the Lord. As he worshipped, as he preached the word, we felt the entire heavens coming to the, to, on earth. So after that, at 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., we gathered together in the church for the revival hour. We, so many people turned over, whereby he spoke uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. We experienced the sweetness of the power and the glory of God, whereby even people were unable to leave the house and to force them to go home at night. So we thank God so much for what he has done to his servant, sending him across to Africa. My heart is cold, though my strength is gone under a heavy load. Ooh, I will praise Him, though my eyes are dry and my heart is cold, though my strength is gone under a heavy load. Though my eyes are dry 
and my heart is cold. Though my strength is gone under a heavy load. He is high and lifted up, and His praise, His praise fills this temple, and the glory, glory of His presence. about a pastor's conference, minister's conference, as Pastor Paul spoke, the message of power, the revelation of the Holy Spirit, as many people that were gathered, it was shaking, it shook off many things in their life. Um, many people are bound up in a religious spirit, but right now they have a testimony. Many are saying that they need this message back again. The lives of ministers have been changed. The spirit of this unity has been broken, and they are now want to come together and arrange great meetings for Apostle Paul again. God bless you.
My, there is another boy who came to my house and told me, Mama, there is a crusade here. Bring your child. And thank God he has healed my baby. Now I have received Jesus as my Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, this is Pastor Daniel Sadaka. I hosted uh, Apostle Paul Falong in Kitale, Kenya. Uh, we had a wonderful meeting uh, last Monday, that's 12th. And uh, we had uh, great things happen uh, on a meeting last night in the Revival Crusade. We have um, this, uh, many people have come after Pastor Paul, after Pastor Paul prayed for them, they have come to me with many testimony. A woman told me today that he had a problem, severe pain in her stomach for over four years. After Apostle Paul prayed last night, the sickness went over. He's totally completely healed. A young man came to me, he had a sexual disease, an STI. We have been suffering from gonorrhea for about now when he has been so painful, so suffering for him. He was free completely after he came in the meeting. After Apostle Paul prayed and shouted Jesus, he received healing. And he has confirmed to me this morning that he went to visit a doctor 
and the doctor confirmed he's free from that sickness this morning. He's shouting praise. I'm going to send that testimony in the email too. Another man came to me. He's been suffering uh, with a severe headache and he had nose bleeding. For several years, about six years now, he's been suffering with a severe headache and also he's suffering, the, um, the suffering leading also with the nose bleeding. He came in the meeting last night. He had also uh, this um, nose bleeding and he had a severe headache. After Pastor Apostle Paul I prayed for him, he received total, completely healing. A woman confessed of suffering with cancer. He had told me he had been having cancer, blood cancer. He told me he came in the meeting and he told me this morning, those pains he's been having in the body are completely gone. And he believed God touched him and have set him free. We saw a, a, young, a, a, young, a young daughter came in the meeting who had um, the spirit of dumb and he had um, he had a dumb spirit. He came in the meeting. Apostle Paul laid his hand on him, on uh, that daughter, prayed for the child. Today, the mother told me he tried to spoke some words uh, last night after prayers. He tried to spoke some words again, and uh, at, um, and the tongue again was lost. The glory of God was manifested. The glory of God was manifested on that revival meeting. God is using a servant of God. Uh, a woman again told me this morning when he came in a meeting last night, uh, the nails of the child, the child had a problem with the nails. He had a child. The child had a problem with the nails. Now, after prayers, he told me, he confessed this morning that the nails were restored completely from pain. It's total chill by the power of the Holy Spirit. God is doing many things here. We have seen uh, uh, many people that came in the meeting having a problem in their bodies. Another one said he has been having a lot of rashes on the body. He had a skin disease, rashes uh, on the body. He has been, uh, he has been scratching himself all over because of the disease. He could not walk uh, during cold times when it's raining. But right now he told me after prayers, those uh, rashes on the body tried completely. They were total dry. Right now he confessed he received the healing. Another person also came told me he's been having the skin disease is and God also touched him. God has set many people, younger people free from alcoholism because the, the place we have been preaching last night, Apostle Paul was preaching last night, is a part of the uh, 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 that slum in Kenya and uh, many people have been coming there with several problems. God has set them free. Other people have received a vision from heaven. They told him how the preaching, they received that vision. God spoke to them. Some came to me tell me we need Jesus after the message the message had power many people were shaken because of the power of the message after that they came to me this morning confess their sin and I led them to Christ and they want to learn more about Jesus they received that vision God spoke to them their hearts have seen the glory of God God is doing wonderful things and the glory of God was manifested in power on that meeting God God bless you in the name of Jesus. By the greatness of your name, you have conquered Satan's reign. And now I walk from darkness into light. By the blood of Jesus Christ, through his perfect sacrifice, I'm forgiven, I'm set free, and I am saved. Enter light by God's redeeming sacrifice. It's His love that draws me closer, and His grace, His grace that brings me home. 